Welcome to the Women's Wellness Podcast. My name is Amy and I am the host of the Women's Wellness Podcast where we break down topics relating to women's health and empowering women to make informed choices about their health and family. Today we are going to be talking about naturopathy and my guests and I are going to just break down what naturopathy is and how you can use it and how it can help you in your life. So my guest today is Mariana Jovanovic. She is a naturopath and founder of Change Naturopathy. And after originally starting her working life in chemistry and environmental studies, Mariana made the shift into naturopathy after seeing how natural medicines improve the health of her family. This led her to complete a bachelor's in naturopathy and herbal medicine and also completing a diploma in nutrition from Well Park College. So thank you, Mariana, for joining me on the podcast today. Welcome aboard. Hi, Amy. Thank you very much for having me. That's a very nice introduction. Thank you. <sighs> I broke down what you gave me and yeah. You've done so much, it was hard to, hard to pinpoint it. So I thought the first question should be a little bit about how you got into, into naturopathy. Um, so just tell me about the journey and what led you to becoming a naturopath. Uh, was it something you were always interested in um, or was it something you discovered through helping your family? Yes, um, I always was interested into in the environment, into natural health. Um, my mom is a nurse, uh, and uh, yeah, always was interested about health medicine. But I never was. Uh, I couldn't. I couldn't predict that I will end up uh, being natural health practitioner. Uh, just uh, in the last, let's say, decade, I was starting being more interested into the um, natural medicine, holistic health, uh, reading about nutrition, how nutrition can improve uh, your health and uh, maintain uh, good health and your vitality. And uh, not only being interested in reading about it, uh, but also having a experience uh, with my own family and their uh, health struggles. With, uh, uh, my parents having a, a struggle with uh, chronic diseases all their life and uh, taking a pharmaceutical um, handful of pharmaceutical medications every day. Uh, my son struggled with uh, eczema um, and allergies. Uh, I myself struggling in the past with uh, uh, depression. And uh, I was always interested is, is there is any other way uh, rather than just taking the uh, pharmaceutical medication? Is there any other way uh, to help people uh, achieve better health uh, uh, and by reading about natural health, about uh, nutrition, I found that yes, uh, you can always find the root of the cause of your problem and maybe uh, implement the simple, simple changes in your life uh, that can work uh, uh, very similarly, uh, sometimes much better than just applying the pharmaceutical medicine uh, every day or for, for polypharmacy for the, for the chronic conditions. So that was one of the uh, Many reasons. Reasons that uh, push me into the natural medicine field. And uh, uh, then I thought, okay, how I can implement it, how I can actually uh, empower other people, how I can help other people uh, uh, finding uh, the uh, best of, of themselves, finding their uh, vitality, they, um, uh, improving their wellness and their health. So uh, I found out about uh, Elpa College, uh, apply for the naturopathy and studied the uh, uh, last several years and uh, learned much, much more uh, how different modalities uh, under the naturopathy can help people uh, improving their health and improving their lives. Wow. Uh, so that's, that's how I started with naturopathy. Then uh, after finishing and finalizing the college, uh, I set up the, uh, my clinic uh, at home uh, where I'm practicing from and seeing the clients one-to-one -one. Uh, and uh, also planning to uh, provide uh, maybe wider education uh, through giving some presentations in the schools in the community or webinars and uh, like you doing uh, 
in this way, Amy, trying to reach more and more women uh, around with educating and uh, online. What because today is everything is online, isn't it? Um, it is. That's the way how to reach uh, many, many people and educate more people than just having the one or two one client. Fantastic. That kind of moves me on to several of my questions that I've got written down. I think the first one, before we delve into much deeper, um, can you give me an overview of what naturopathy is? So what sort of techniques and remedies? So you mentioned foods and you do herbal medicines and alternative medicines as well. Is that, tell me a bit more about that. So naturopathy, uh, naturopathic medicine is a uh, primary health care that uh, encouraging the, our own body's uh, self-healing uh, uh, process uh, through using of um, natural therapies, uh, using uh, both uh, traditional healing methods, uh, but also the modern medical science. So it's scientifically based uh, 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 holistic medicine. Uh, yes, we use... Um, nutritional uh, changes, we use uh, lifestyle changes, uh, we use uh, support of the herbal medicine, uh, uh, minerals uh, and vitamins, uh, supplements, uh, but only practitioners uh, supplements uh, use if required and needed. So uh, could be just simple uh, steps, simple, simple changes like a lifestyle changes for somebody or nutritional changes that will uh, make a big difference. Uh, and bring their wellness and their health uh, in line and initiate that uh, uh, innate ability of our bodies to heal itself. But could be also some other intervention. We can apply also different testing to find out what is actually happening uh, in your body. Um, but uh, yeah, could, could be just a simple support but in uh, changing nutrition, uh, changing the lifestyle, or supporting you with your deficiencies in uh, minerals or vitamins deficiencies. Mm. And I suppose um, when you say going back to kind of deficiencies and testing and things like that, and how it supports the body's natural innate ability, it's, it seems like it's more focused on looking at the root cause. So for example, when you mentioned eczema, that could be a symptom of something underlying. Is that, sort of what you do yes uh exactly so we're trying to find the root cause of the problem of the health issue for the client but uh, by um, uh, uncovering uh, all the layers of their story and finding the possible cause uh, of the current uh, health issue or, or ongoing health issue uh what i came for uh, to, uh, to to us so that's uh, why um naturopathic uh, initial consultation is quite comprehensive. It could last one to one and a half hours uh, because I would like, and naturopaths would like to uh, find out uh, uh, what is their health history, what is their family health history, what is their social life, what is their family history, what is your family life, uh, what is their lifestyle, how is your, their nutrition, what they eat, uh, how, they, how much they drink, um, uh, anything what was happening in the past, any... Um, Specifically, it's uh, very important to find out if any any uh, big uh, event that happened in their life in the past or around the time when they're starting feeling unwell, that uh, might be a cause, initiation of the current health problem. So basically trying to find out the big picture uh, about the client who is in front of us uh, because uh, we are trying to uh, help and treat the client who is in front of us, uh, not uh, treat the condition, what mm -hmm. client we have. Uh, because the, the condition that is diagnosed or uh, issue that they have currently, uh, the health issue that they have currently, uh, could be caused by many, many things. It could be caused by a very simple thing in the past and could be caused with, with something, a uh, big event that happened in the past, very stressful event or simple change in the diet in the past due, due to different circumstances can uh, cause the different uh, uh, health issues, uh, different uh, reactions, allergies, uh, coughs uh, that they're not aware that they've happened in the past. Yeah. Uh, 
I can it's a whole big answer. picture. Yeah, it looks at everything rather than just yeah, just you've got eczema. Here's a cream, off you go. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the the cream eczema cream yeah could uh, uh, help with the in initial reduction of the symptom uh, that we can also uh, recommend, but it would be naturally based. Um, yeah actual root cause is uh, uh, mo um, most in most of the cases are uh, uh, what kind of nutrition you're intaking uh, if you're deficient in uh, some minerals or vitamins so uh, not all the processes in the body working well and properly and that's why we have uh, something uh, showing up on our skin uh, mm. that is not happening right in our digestion in our body will show up on the skin sometimes yeah, yeah. In, for some people that will show up in, in different uh, ways. Uh, also, through that co comprehensive uh, appointment and consultation with your client, uh, uh, trying to provide and we trying to provide the safe space for the client to tell their story. So they feel relaxed that they uh, to actually safely tell their story and, and their story about their lives. And through that uh, conversation about their life, what uh, what is their the, uh, family history, what is their uh, medical history, uh, what's happened in the past, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, uh, they going through their life uh, and what's happened in their life, and they coming to those aha moments uh, sometimes. Oh, okay, that might cause me the this and that. That might happen, and that might uh, cause me today's str uh, struggle. So that's really. Um, priceless and valuable when you actually prompt that uh, into the uh, for the person to actually find out sit down and for one hour talk only about themselves mm. and, uh, uh, go through their lives and first time for some people especially for women that was the first time they like uh, okay I have a one hour to talk only about myself to think only about myself and yes, they're going through that process, they're talking about it, and they're coming, okay, uh-huh, yeah. That co could maybe be uh, causing the problem. That's when I started having those issues. That's when I started having those yeah. symptoms. Yeah. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah I suppose having, having that having that journey and having that ability to sit there for an hour plus gives them the chance to actually dig deep because a lot of the time we don't know what the cause is. We just go, well, this is bothering me, sort this out. And it's, it's allowing them that opportunity and creating that safe space. That's really, really beneficial. Exactly. So yes, having that time for themselves and actually, uh, because we are all busy, especially women, they are very busy and they, they're going from one task to another task. And yes, if, if you feel sick and you feel, oh, I just need a, something to, to feel better this moment because I need to go to another task. And yet yeah, we're always postponing uh, to look after ourselves. Mm. Uh, and that's the time when you can actually sit down and see, oh, okay, that's maybe causing me this problem, maybe causing me to feel, and find actually that cause and find uh, something what that can help and initiate that uh, slow process of um, uh, feeling better and uh, finding more vitality and en energy. Because in many cases, uh, uh, there's a simple reason. There's a uh, simple changes that we can start with for them to feel uh, better slowly. Mm. Yeah. And I guess it's really, really important. I'm understanding the importance of coming to see somebody like you now because the, I know when I did the supermarket shop yesterday and I'm walking past the aisle and there's so many herbal medicines and supplements that we can take as well as prescribed medicines from the doctor and everything can almost mask what's happening and cause a cocktail of things happening somewhere else so having having someone knowledgeable in how everything reacts and interacts together is probably a lot more beneficial and a lot more important than just buying something off the shelf uh, definitely, yeah, and uh, that's why we are uh, always recommending just uh, practitioner supplements if we are need to recommend and uh, prescribe uh, only practitioner supplements mm. because we know the process how uh, those companies are come up with those supplements, those vitamins, those minerals, 
uh, and then there is a scientific process behind those supplements. For some of the supplements and uh, minerals and uh, vitamins what are on the supermarket shelves, we can't guarantee because we don't know the mm. product uh, behind that. So that's why uh, it's possibly, and, and because you're not uh, self-prescribing yourself by buying something off the shelf uh, from yeah. the health shop or, or, or supermarket. In a many health shops, you can get, uh, hot shops you can get advice from the health practitioner. What would be recommended but of course it's the best to find out what what is your problem what is your cause what what is what actually you need if you need anything uh, like a yeah. supplement just taking that time to sit down and figure it out rather than going i feel tired that one says it gives me vitality pick it off the shelf yeah it's, yeah it's really important moving on to um kind of moving on from that what type of clients do you see and where does your passion lie most with clients? So, yeah, I'm very passionate about children. I love and adore children, children and their moms, their caregivers. So anything uh, about um, health, women's health and children's health, I can help with. Uh, yeah, uh, children... Uh, uh, our future and uh, looking after them and uh, helping them to be happy, healthy. It's, I think, immensely important for anybody. And at the same time, helping their moms and or caregivers, if they're grandparents or wherever they are, you know, grandmothers, uh, looking after them, uh, which means also looking after their own health. Uh, as we mentioned in the previous uh, conversation, mm -hmm it's so important that you first look after yourself and find time for yourself to be yeah. able to be healthy, happy to look after your family and your children and uh, go to work and uh, have energy for all of that task, what you have during your day. Of course, day. yeah. Mm -hmm. So in your experience, do you see the same things cropping up at every session, every client that you see is it very similar all the conditions or do you see a variety of conditions across uh, yeah uh, it is variety of conditions uh it is usual to see um gut issues uh to see allergies in kids uh, uh for smaller kids also uh, and let's say primary school kids toddlers primary school kids see picky eating uh, behavior issues connected with the uh, diet um, that they have. Uh, uh, also uh, mental health issues, anxieties, uh, depression, uh, ADHD. For women, for mothers, uh, also we have that gut, gut issues. Uh, the big uh, is uh, stress and stress management, energy levels, uh, hormonal issues, endocrine, endocrine uh, health, uh, Hyper uh, uh, thyroidism or hypothyroidism, um, so anything like that, uh, anything variety, but all of them, uh, what we are not uh, for that natural, but would say all uh, the problems always start from the gut, from the uh, your digestion. From uh, if that is not regulated, uh, the uh, it will show up. On, on your body, on your system, uh, as a different um, uh, symptoms and different uh, diseases. I think that's a whole, whole topic in itself. There, exactly. Huge we could talk for hours about that. Yeah. So you've gone through kind of what an initial consultation looks like. Is there anything that you didn't mention before that you'd want to mention now in regards to how that initial consultation looks? Uh, yeah, beforehand, I would send uh, some uh, questionnaires uh, to, to the client to fill up uh, uh, and return to me at least 24 hours uh, before we see each other for initial consultation. So that's the initial questionnaire, uh, general questionnaire about their health, their uh, health issues, uh, uh, just to give me an idea uh, what I'm dealing with and uh, to have as a record too. And uh, usually I would send uh, uh, two to three days uh, uh, food diary uh, to the client um, uh, that they fill up and uh, send me back that I have idea what uh, their uh, diet is, what they're intaking, uh, what they 
could be for the from the first look what it could be deficient on what it could change their diet uh trying to incorporate one day of the weekend and two working days for example and if i think any other question is appropriate uh, if i already talked to and spoke to the client who booked with me uh, then we see each other for the initial consultation. Uh, what I already mentioned, I'm taking and um, asking so many, many questions and uh, trying to uh, find out more deeper uh, about their life, about uh, habits uh, uh, and uh, previous health history and family health history, social life, uh, anything. Uh, and as much as, more as, uh, as I can, getting information on that first initial consult. Mm -hmm. um, after that, uh, I uh, go to get uh, back uh, and looking through all the info that I have, do some research, and I see if I need to do any uh, required testing to find out more valuable information. Are there, is that a blood test? Are there a comprehensive stool test? Are, are, are there is a, a hair test to find out mineral deficiencies or uh, heavy metal loading? anything like that or just the simple uh, uh, zinc uh, uh, tally testing to find out uh, through the taste uh, of drinking the a little amount of zinc if they're deficient in, in the zinc or finding out what is um, uh, their blood pressure or anything like that that wow. that could be done and usually done uh, or any other physical examination that mm. i think initial physical examination that they need simple like a uh, just uh, blood pressure, um, uh, uh, just to, to see, uh, for example, uh, measuring their BMI, what you are, uh, you know, like a weight, uh, height, um, yeah. waist to hip ratio, ratio uh, et cetera, et cetera. So uh, anything uh, in that way, I would uh, uh, move to the uh, second uh, appointment, what is the first follow-up. Mm -hmm. And after that, I would prepare... Um, with all the information I've got, uh, prepare the treatment plan for the client uh, with the uh, structured, simple steps and uh, following uh, uh, follow-up appointments that we need to see each other uh, and present that in the second follow-up uh, for the client. And uh, they can ask any question. I will explain what uh, should be done, what I would recommend, uh, what I possibly prescribe or not prescribe or I can prescribe just dietary changes, I can prescribe just lifestyle changes, uh, or I prescribe uh, any supplements that, that they required. Uh, and from there, uh, it's, uh, yeah, uh, we will see each other maybe in two, three weeks time and to see how they go with a treatment plan. If it needs to be adjusted, if they're going well, or we need to go step back and uh, slow down the process or anything like that. Cool. And I think that leads me back to going to talk about the GP. So would, if they're taking prescribed medications and they're under the, the health professional's care, do you communicate with that doctor or with the GP, whoever their lead carer is, I suppose? Yeah. Uh, if, if we need to communicate with the doctor, yes, we definitely do. And uh, that's uh, the best way if, uh, we can uh, uh, provide that communication be between different different practitioners for the client, mm -hmm. which will uh, ultimately uh, just uh, uh, make a, a best uh, outcome for the client. Of course, uh, uh, if uh, I notice that uh, something needs to be investigated further uh, by the general practitioner, I will refer back uh, clients to general practitioners to be for investigation, for future investigation or diagnosis that they need. Mm -hmm. uh, if I, for example, uh, need any information that a general practitioner is uh, gathered uh, from the client, like a, some blood tests, uh, what has been recently done, client can ask the general practitioner or I can directly ask the general practitioner to provide for me. Um, or if uh, I need a uh, food uh, blood test to be done, I can ask clients uh, to go to general practitioner and uh, order those uh, uh, blood tests because they're free for the clients if they go through the uh, GP rather than right. me. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and they pay for in the lab test. Uh, or anything, anything that I think that um, 
needs uh, f further investigation, I can put in, in a, a referral letter to the GP uh, and they go back there and be f further, f further investigated. Uh, some GPs are happy to uh, correlate and um, work together with the natural profession, some GPs are still not there. Uh, there are many integrative uh, uh, clinics uh, where GPs are uh, working together with the okay. osteopaths, chiropractors, nutritionists, naturopaths, uh, wow. maybe here in New Zealand, Auckland, uh, or uh, some uh, GPs are calling themselves already integrative GPs because I uh, uh, emphasize also uh, part of their treatment or they are interested in natural health or nutrition. Um, mm. Otherwise, uh, we know that uh, their appointments are quite uh, short and they don't have time to explain everything and, and to no. check uh, with the client. What is the actual problem with, with that? Otherwise, um, yeah, we definitely need the uh, orthodox medicine. We definitely need uh, uh, GPs and specialists uh, to, uh, <laughs> to look after our health. And we are here just to help. We are also complementary medicine, which can help in some other directions, as I mentioned, like prevention of chronic disease, maintenance of chronic mm -hmm. disease, or... Uh, uh, helping with uh, uh, nutrition and lifestyle, what uh, general practitioner practitioner uh, are not trained in, or they are not having time to deal with that with the client. Yeah, with, with the certain conditions. Yeah, because their appointments they are so so short. Mm -hmm. I know that they're longer here than in the UK, but they're still quite short to actually yeah. get a full picture. And that's the, their restriction what they can. Yeah, yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah. And explain everything uh, yeah. to the patient and to the clients. What some of patients really like explanations. Some of people don't. Yeah. Yeah, it's hard to work with what the client needs when you're only in front of them for five to fifteen minutes yeah. if you're lucky. You um, how do people book an appointment with you? And do you consult online or is it just one on one? Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm open for the Zoom and Skype uh, uh, consultation. I already put that, uh, that uh, on uh, my Facebook page. So there's my Facebook page, Instagram page. Uh, usually can book uh, through my Facebook page. Uh, my website would be live soon. I'm working on that. Uh, so they will be available to book uh, uh, through my website or just contacting me uh, on my phone number and email what are also available on the Facebook page. Uh, page and moment. what is the name of your facebook page uh change in arthropathy yep and the website so, was change uh, yeah, yeah yeah when it's live yeah dot nz yeah yeah so yes i do uh provide a one one uh, uh consultation at my clinic at home but yeah i'm also provide a consultation online like on zoom uh, or uh, skype Perfect. So if somebody isn't on North Shore, they can yeah. see you anywhere. Oh yeah, definitely. Perfect. Yeah. So there is one question that's a bit of a, not quite related, but it is related because I know some people confuse the two. Is there any similarities or differences between naturopathy and homeopathy? Um, uh, homeopathy is uh, also natural, nat nat natural, uh, uh, holistic uh, medical module. Mm -hmm. But uh, if you look at it, and it is a very often question because people very often confuse those two. Uh, naturopathy using very uh, many different uh, natural uh, modules in, in treating the patients. Mm -hmm. And one of them could be homeopathy. So homeopathy uh, is have a basically same principles as naturopathy of treating uh, uh, the the patient, treating the uh, initiating that uh, innate ability of the body to heal itself. Right. And in homeopathy, uh, there is a, 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 what they use are uh, homeopathic, homeopathic medicines are uh, natural um, remedies uh, that are made uh, from uh, uh, herbs, uh, minerals, uh, animal parts uh, that uh, are diluted uh, to 100 parts into the water, distilled water or alcohol, 
and uh, used uh, uh, for the treatment. Uh, how they used? They they have a principle that uh, similar uh, actually works with similar. So they're initiating the actual symptoms of the certain disease uh, in the patient. Uh, for for example, uh, it's much easier to explain when if I give the example. Mm -hmm. If you uh, give uh, one of the homeopathic remedies would contain the B venum. So if you, we know the B venum, uh, when B stung us, uh, we will get inflammation, we will get redness and, and uh, uh, inflammation. So some of the homeopathic remedies will be given to the patient uh, to treat uh, uh, inflammation and uh, uh, redness uh, by uh, remedy who, which is made from B venum. Uh, right. So it's almost like a natural vaccination? Uh, something like that. Yes, yeah, some people would would uh, give that relation and uh, explanation in that way. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. But uh, just uh, trying because if you think about it, um, uh, that that remedies will initiate actually uh, certain symptoms uh, in the healthy person. Yeah. So what what they are doing uh, with uh, they diluting the actual uh, remedy, actual herb. Uh, to 100 parts, uh, 10 parts, uh, and giving uh, to the sick person who got the similar symptoms to initiate more uh, your body, to your immune system to work and, and fight that disease. Right. So uh, yeah, working just with those uh, kind of treatment, with that kind of uh, remedies. When you're looking at the nat naturopathy, uh, naturopath using range of uh, different um, uh, modalities, uh, like as I said, uh, uh, changing uh, nutrition or lifestyle changes or uh, herbal medicine or some naturopaths would use massage. Some of naturopaths are trained in homeopathy, so they, they will use homeopathy uh, and many, many, many other modalities or uh, will use the aspects of Chinese medicine. And uh, so right. you'll see that uh, naturopathy is uh, in general using many more modalities and one of them could be homeopathy right. and homeopathy yeah. treatments are using just homeopathic remedies uh, treatments that causing the actual uh, symptom uh, what is the same symptom in the diseases that they're trying to uh, that they, they would like to do remedy and to ah. cure i'm glad so, i asked that question i had no idea of what it actually was so that was really, really useful. So all naturopaths could be homeopaths, but not all homeopaths could be naturopaths because yeah. naturopaths yes. are the big picture. Homeopaths, one module. Yeah, one module. And yeah, some naturopaths are trained in homeopathy. Uh, right. But you can also order the ready-made homeopathic uh, uh, treatments, uh, ready-made uh, homeopathic uh, pills and, and remedies, uh, from some of the supplement companies right. but uh, yeah. well that we are coming to the end of the podcast now so i'm just double checking before i ask my final question is there anything that uh we've missed that you'd like to talk about more mm. Just thinking. Um, we pretty much covered it. Just pretty much cover it, and uh, I think uh, I don't know if I em emphasize enough the importance of uh, uh, that uh, connection that needs to be thera thera therapeutic relationship uh, between the uh, naturopath and the client. And uh, if that's established properly, and that's established initially, uh, that will do 60 to 70% of the work in the treatment and for the treatment for the client. So that's, that's very important. And uh, that uh, when it's working out through that uh, long initial consultation, uh, when we see the client one-to-one, -one, and when we give the safe space for the client to yeah. Uh, tell their story um yeah i mean there's many many other topics uh, of what we can oh cover. yes yes <laughs> the property, uh, we'll have you yeah. back <laughs> yeah but maybe some other time yeah 
Again, Brilliant. Again. So my final question then is what is, so kind of summarizing everything we've talked about, what is the one thing that you would like the women listening to this topic to take away? If you can summarize it into one sentence or paragraph. Yep. So yeah, uh, they just need to know that um, they could be heard. They can come to naturopaths and they could be heard. And there is somebody out there who can hear them and they can tell the, safely their story. And uh, what is most important uh, that uh, they have to find the time for themselves. They have to take care of themselves to be able to take care of, uh, of their family or their uh, pets or, or have a time for their work. So there is a way uh, to uh, make simple little changes uh, into their day-to-day structure and uh, slot in the small amounts of time when it's the only time for them. Uh, even if it's only just sit down and have a mindful cup of tea for 10 minutes, that's very important. That type of breaks is are very important uh, for them to be able to have enough uh, energy levels, uh, reduce the stress uh, to deal with all other stuff what is waiting in front of them in, in the in they, uh, day. So there are things what I can help with. Uh, and as I said, uh, throughout talking about their life uh, for one hour, one and a half hour, we can find a ways where where is the stuff that they of what they're missing and uh, where is the things what we can change around to reduce their stress about whatever stress is there in their life or uh, reduce their stress about their health issues or reduce their stress about their children's health issues. So there is a somebody out there who can help them uh, to have uh, less stressful, uh, more energetic lives and more vital lives uh, and to put back their smile on their, on their face. Perfect. So, uh, Great yeah, summary. There is always resolution for the, in my opinion, for any problems. And I love making people feel happy and feel content and uh, vital. So, yeah. Beautiful. Well, thank you very much. What I'm going to do, I'm going to stick the, um, links to your facebook page and your websites in the show notes so if people want to contact you all the information will be in there yep. and that is it for today so mariana thank you very much for joining us on the women's wellness podcast oh thank you very much for having me amy that was nice actually talking about naturopathy what Great. i'm passionate about very much yeah.